You would think we would clean this thing. <laughs> You'd think, but it's just not how we roll around here. So, back in the garage. We uh, got our RS1 in the last episode, if you guys saw that. Ripped her around a little bit, had a great time in it, but one of the things we didn't really like was the stock seat belt. And not to talk trash about Polaris' stock seat belt, but stock three-point belts, it's just not what you need. We're gonna go to the dunes this weekend. We're probably gonna send this thing, so we gotta fix it up with some real harnesses. And we got a set. What are they, bud? Ooh, Simpsons. Yeah, man. We got a set of Simpson D3s here, which are an interesting set of harnesses, actually. We'll okay. kind of show you guys how these suckers work. Yeah, what's a D3? Yeah, so it's like the newer set that Simpsons got out, the newest set. Um, and it's like the Sonin style, so the, the shoulder belts are attached to the lap belts. So, you know, to put them on is nice and simple. You don't have four separate pieces you're putting together. But the shoulder belts are actually attached to the lap belts via the latch itself. So instead of having them sewn in over here, where you typically see, or over here, this enables them to bring the shoulder belt closer to the latch, mm. which kind of gives you that you know, V pattern that you get with more traditional belts. And the idea is that just you know, fits you better. It keeps the belts from sliding off your shoulders, especially nice. if you're a narrower person. So curious to try these puppies. I think they'll work good. Yeah, so we're probably going to do Bolton style. The RS1's got little attachment points on this back bar, which you can see right here. To attach harnesses and then getting down here shouldn't be too big of a big deal so nope looks pretty simple this side's definitely real simple that side maybe you have to take a couple panels out but should be a simple one polaris basically gives you everything you need so i'm just gonna dig into it pop a couple panels off and let it happen yep side by side blog.com garage All right, bud, we got harnesses, we got an RS1, what do you got to do here? Yep, I think we're just going to pop the seat out for starters, just so we can kind of see what we're working with. So this appears to be normal Polaris style latch in the back. Okay. Let's see, I feel something, feels like a latch. Oh, yeah, there it is. Pull Literally latch, first take. Back. Okay, so. Simple. Hmm. That one might be a bit more difficult. That one's real simple right there, you can see the bolts. Super easy. <laughs> yeah, right there. We'll take you know the stock retractor out, take the stock belt out. This will be simple. We'll have to find somewhere to attach the fifth point. Yeah. Don't have to do that. I like the fifth point in there. It's more comfortable for me. Adds a little bit of safety, so we'll probably try to do that. And I don't even think this is gonna be bad. Bunch of push pins here. Probably pop this inside panel out fairly easily. So Okay, so we looked a little bit more. Looks like you don't actually have to take the interior panel out, but you can reach that bolt um, just down through here. So we're going to take the back fender off just so you can see a little easier, which I think is pretty simple on these. Yeah, kind of cool with the RS1 is that these fenders are removable. So one like little clip here and then... Those, there's a couple of rubbers. There's one there. There's one back here. And then maybe twist it. Yes. Oh, interesting. There's a couple tabs on the bottom as well. Dang. There it is. Comes right off. Actually, yeah, you can see the bolt now. So there is the, the bolt that holds the, not really the passenger side, but the right side. <laughs> yeah, the right side of the factory Harness belt. attachment, so. Yeah, cool. this, is, this will be an easy one. And yeah, wow. Talk about access to all your stuff. Right there. I like that the manufacturers are making this a little easier on you, because that wasn't the way, you know, when these things started, right? Like when I had my OG Maverick, putting harnesses on that thing was a pain in the butt. Right. They're all aware now that we're doing this, so they seem to kind of make it easy on you, which is cool. All right, that looks like a, probably like a 19 or something. Yep. So maybe it's captured on the backside. Mm, doesn't feel like it. So Son of a bean. Probably have to snake something in there to hold it. But Yeah, I was thinking maybe we would take that grommet off. The yep. factory belt, and we can see if we can hold on to it from there. Yep. Yep. So what happened there, bud? There it is. We just pulled the rubber boot off, off video. And you can actually see the bolt right there. It's real close. If you had a lot of patience, you could probably take it out from the top side, but I think it'll be easier to reach in from the back, get a ratchet and a socket in there. But Yeah. Anyways, we're just start taking the old stuff out. 
<clears throat> All right, SAE, bud. Yeah, yeah, that's what seems to fit it. So I think I got a three quarter on the nut side and a five eighths on the bolt. Seems to be what fits. So this is the kind of rig I'm using. A little 12 inch extension. We'll get on the nut there and then uh, I think we can probably Jeez. reach around. You're double duty, you're like a single mom, dude. Right. It is. Wow, that worked fairly well. So, some of you might have noticed that there is a wire on the stock seat belts. So, if you clip that and pretty much wire it together, yeah. you may or may not be able to overcome your seat belt warning. Sorry, Polaris. <laughs> no, this is a demo unit. We'll owe you one, but that's going to happen. So. You can buy, you know, jumpers, or you can stick a paper clip in them, or you can stick a wire in them and tape them up, but we're going to snip this wire right here. Kind of hard to see. No. We're getting there. Okay, okay, I got it. Right here. So that's the connector that comes off the seatbelt latch. So we're going to snip it on the seatbelt latch side, not on the vehicle harness side. We'll snip it here, and then just wire them together, put a little shrink wrap on it, and she'll be permanently deactivated. Time to come out. Oh my Bolt's gosh. Loose. I'll just throw it down through the bottom. Bolt explosion. <laughs> and then we just gotta unplug this wire over here. And then this should come out. And there it is. So that's the wire we were just talking about. You can see where it plugs into the harness. We'll just cut it in here somewhere. Wire them together. Tape it up. Shrink wrap it up. Whatever. Maybe put a little solder on it even. Get fancy. Move on. Yep. If you're a vendor for Simpson, they give you about 100,000 stickers. <laughs> Just letting you know. Oh, what are you God. doing? No! No, no, Chuck, don't do it! No! What's done is done. No! What's no. done is done. No! What'd uh, you do? That's all we need. We'll strip these off, wear them together. It's kind of cool looking. RIP stock seat belt. Listen, we liked you. You worked. You worked. We'll just say that. Right. It didn't really work well. I mean, we didn't crash it to really test it. But, right. You know, I imagine it would have worked. It's like a regular car seat belt. Right. Sometimes they just work. What are you looking for? I'm looking for my wire strippers. Oh, there they are. That's the wrong, wrong drawer for them, but that's okay. I probably put it in there. Sorry, bud. I think we're going to solder this. Because I feel like if we don't, we'll have people in the comments just telling us how we should have soldered it. So. Going full bore. Yep. Impressed. Yep, yep, yep. I don't know what this gauge is. This looks like something. Classic 16, bud. Like that. <laughs> is that lead free, dude? Oh, uh, lead free, everything free. I don't even know what it is. We got the Chicago electric soldering iron. It's quality free. <laughs> Clear, <laughs> clearly made in the U.S. It's Chicago. Uh, this thing actually has been really good. It gets pretty hot pretty fast. Like, he can't ask for a lot more. Clean the contacts every once in a while. It's, you know, soldered a lot of wires. All so. the things you'd ever want from a soldering gun. Right. It's really it a pretty warm, pretty simple unit. All said and done. So I mean, oh, see, look, it's pretty quick. Dang. Chrome those freaking wires out. Heck yeah, man. So what do you got there? Some little shrink tube. Oh, nice. Yep. Shrinking the tube. Also from our friends at Harbor Freight, which actually have really good shrink tube. This is that stuff with that adhesive on the inside of it. Oh, wow. Like it works great. This stuff is spectacular. So. Thanks, Harbor Freight. Right. Let this cool off just a little more first. Smart. Ooh, Dugginator. Cool. Taking more stock belts off. Yep, there you go. Same size nut and bolt, which is nice. Thank you for that. And then I uh, got the little retractor box you're going to take off, and then Last but not least, the old cage mount shoulder area mount thing. Yep. Is that a, what is that? That looks like a 15 or. Five oh, dang it. Thing. Yeah, no kidding. We'll that. Oh man, more stuff. I see a Torx on there, that scares me. More Torx, yep. So the retractor has got a Torx bolt and then uh, the same looks like three quarter ish nut on the back side. So, Torx seems bolt. to be a T47. Interesting, T47. Interesting size. But Thanks, guys. Maybe it's a T50, who knows, but 47's fitting. So. 
I'm gonna try to do this again, single mom style. Try. Boy would sure like to help, unfortunately, you know, just holding this. Who else is gonna hold the camera? Our friend Nick Seuss was here. Right, blame Nick Seuss, don't blame me. Yeah, he's just working all the time. I can do this, but I need an extension. I can't do it like this. Guess who's back. Back again. Doug is back with an extension. So, a lot of you guys like to be angry because Doug's doing all the work. But, this is how it goes. I, I like to work on stuff. And I like to video edit, but that doesn't seem like work because all you guys see is beautiful videos. Right. Yeah, I don't, you know, I don't mind working the camera. But, preferably, be working the tools. Right, preferably, I'm working the camera. I'm not saying I'm the best, but I feel like, you know, I have to do it. I may not look the most comfortable right now, but... <laughs> This is actually where I'm the most comfortable. Nice. All right, we got this thing going. Good work. I'm ready to see it come off, bud. Check back in 10 minutes or so. <laughs> They're like trying to steal gas from somebody's car. Right. If you look real close in the crack here, you can see his face. <laughs> <laughs> gotta got zoom it. in. You got it, really? We got it. Good. Oh, dang. Bye bye, seatbelt retractor. Nice snowing you, kiddo. Shoot. That's it, man. I don't know what we're going to do with this, but. Maybe we can make some sort of uh, block and tackle system. Oh, interesting. Oh, wow. What's up? <laughs> All that. I see oh, that. It's oh, it's gnarled. Splined and pressed into the brackets so you oh, don't have no. to hold the torque side. <laughs> oh no. Well, word to the wise, you don't need a T47, turns out. This is just good reason to watch the whole video. <laughs> <laughs> right. Don't skip through. All right, watch to the end. All right, we got all the mountain points open. So from here, it looks like test fit. Yep, it is time. So, Classic D3 harnesses. Open that up. There's, yep, they got the bolt-in tab, so I think this is just going to route over the top. I'll we'll have to loosen this up a bit, but you see what's going on. It's going to route over the top and then just bolt in here, so. Cool. Classic SFI approved. These are nice, man. Three-inch padded SFI. There's nothing better than, like, than a three-inch pad on my shoulder. <laughs> Actually, I, I prefer unpadded. You guys have seen that. Anyway. Right. So yeah, bolt them here, bolt them here, put them down there, put them down there. Shouldn't be a big deal. Make sure you got your left and right correct. Yep, yep, yep. I've been a victim of that prior. So, now we can test it a little bit better. Yeah. And probably going to need some sort of bolts to go in there. I'm thinking maybe we can uh, reuse, well, we only got one bolt from up here. We got to reuse the ones in the bottom down there. So yeah, we'll have to come up with a couple bolts. Try to find some good hard work, but shouldn't be a problem. Say, I mean, there's holes down here to look in. And... We got poor Doug's dad on the ground trying to find the nut Doug just dropped. Oh my god! Oh come on! We've all dropped nuts in our life. Uh, but anyway, we're pretty close, man. We got I the shoulders in. I dropped two nuts. I'm about to drop a ghost. Oh. <laughs> <Anyways>. <laughs> Oops. We got the top harnesses. Okay, we got the top harnesses in. We got this one in. We got to do this one. It's a little trickier. Yeah, it's hard. No big deal. We're going to feed her down in there. I think I'll probably put the bolt through from the front. Smart. Make things a little easier. Oh, actually, this has got to go, go the, the other way, side, yeah. So we'll have to do that. Ideally, we'd trim that piece of plastic down there, but it's not our unit, so we're not going to trim it. Right. If it was our unit, it would have been trimmed already. Right. Yeah, when you do this, you know, you kind of want to pay attention and make sure you don't mount these in a way that's going to cut them yeah. know, over time. So They are incredibly your, strong, but... When you mount your brackets, just, you know, mount them on an angle that makes sense. If they're rubbing across the corner of a sharp piece of metal, just trim it back or grind it down, whatever. Just try a little, you know? Yeah. You can see Dougie's fingers working through here. It's close. It's tough. 
Okay, four points are in. We got one point to go. So again, this isn't totally necessary, right? But the fifth point, the crotch strap, the anti-submarine belt, whatever you want to call it. You know, Yellow it does, submarine strap. Yeah, it does serve a bit of a purpose, you know, in terms of safety, keeping the, the latch down in your lap so you can't slide underneath it. And for me personally, I like it because it's more comfortable. Um, when you tighten the lap or the shoulder straps up and you have this, it doesn't have the tendency to, tendency to pull the latch up in your stomach. Yep. So... We're going to put it in. Um, the RS1 has a place that's real easy to, you know, just do a loop around. It's the front of the seat mount. It's pretty good. It's pretty solid. So if this was my machine, I might, you know, weld a little heavier duty mount in. But right. I think since it's not ours, this is going to serve the purpose and, you know, definitely do the job of holding the latch down where you, where you want it. So we're just going to loop her around here. Make a little bit of a guesstimation on how the seat's going to fit. Yeah, this will be a iterative process. We'll have to put it all in and then adjust this one because once it's adjusted, you pretty much leave this. So I'm going to say that doesn't seem too horrible. I think it's going to need to be tightened up. Okay. Could be wrong, but we'll put it in and adjust. Time to put the seat in, bud. Yep. I got this harness out of the way. I love how easy the seats go in in these. Really yeah, Polaris has really got that figured out. Man. Yep. Pretty hard to beat that. Isn't it? Boom. So I, we maybe adjusted these a little too far up. We might have to loosen those a bit, but. You should sit in it and really see where your shoulders are because I feel like. Not too far off. Yeah, that thing. That seat is really low on me at least. Yeah. Maybe not on you, but. Okay, yeah, that fits you okay. This is the first time in D3s. How do you feel about them? Wow, it looks so simple. Oh so my far, God. So good. Dang it. I need these in my life. Yep, yep, yep. I really, yeah, I used to have the, you know, the separate latch and link style. So, yeah, we missed the adjustment a little bit. We got them a little too tight. So, they're all the way loose here and they won't come down to your lap quite. So, we're going to have to go in and loosen these up a little bit, a couple inches. But, uh, overall, not bad. This actually, I think, is going to be pretty darn close. Maybe it needs to be a little bit tighter, but... Not bad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Let's see how you look, bud. Oh, so good. One more test fit. I think we're close this time. Yeah, that looks pretty good, man. Yeah, it feels pretty good so far. Oh, yeah. I think this is the one. Nice. Got that. Oh, no. Oh, no. What did we do here? Oh no! Oh no! Luckily, you can you can undo it from here. I have no idea how I that happened, Doug. Happened, right? This is just flipped around, so we didn't actually unhook it. Oh Jesus! Okay. Crisis averted. Right. All right. That cross strap is pretty low for some people in this world. Yeah, you can test it. Can <laughs> it up a little. I'll be all right. So how do you feel, RS1 with harnesses? How do you think this is gonna feel? This is gonna be good, man. This is gonna be good. Really? I feel like it's gonna allow me to use my left foot braking because I normally stabilize myself with my left foot, but if I'm harnessed in, you can just kind of flop around. Yeah, I feel, you know, when I was driving it with just the stock three-point belt, it's like a tendency to lean a whole lot. Mm -hmm. You know, just because you could, and you know, it felt like you were driving a quad, so I was all over the place. And I think this will be good to keep you where you're supposed to be. And when Sue sends it at the dunes this weekend, it'll keep them nice and safe. Yeah, plus it looks tight too. Yeah. No, it feels good. It feels good. These harnesses are really, really nice. For three inch, like they're not, uh, they don't feel like they're going to rub my neck at all, but they're nice and secure on the shoulders. With this setup, it's kind of cool. You don't really need to mess around with that, you know, sternum strap, chest strap, whatever you want to mm -hmm. call it. Um, you know, they stay on your shoulders, no problem. So, no, this is good. Feels awesome, man. Would highly recommend at this point. So. so if people wanted to buy these harnesses, where could you find these at? You could probably find these at SideBySideBlogParts.com. What? Yep. Yep. That's really? A, that's a real thing. That's okay. A real thing, so. And, you know, we're not just saying they're good because we're selling them. We're selling them because they're good. Yep. So we do have some experience with Simpson products. Have run some of their other types of harnesses before. Are real happy with them. And I think these are going to be no exception. So, you want a good price, get on there, check them out, shoot us an email, we'll hook you up. 
Hell yeah. Yep, get you some safety products. Now it's time for a test drive. Yeah, let's do it, man. 11 o'clock, Doug. What are you doing with sunglasses on, bud? <laughs> uh, the goggles just got washed, so they're soaking wet. So, <laughs> just throw a pair of aviators on. We're not doing nothing crazy. We're just going to take her out for a little lap or two. You look pretty cool. Thanks, man. I'm going to go sans goggles. Oh, baby. This thing is just already totally trashed. <laughs> Classic side-by-side -side blog style, I'd say. I mean, we're going to drive it around on the street. So... It doesn't have an easy road ahead of it. <laughs> I no. Don't believe.